The six requirements. Ananda's fourth question concerned evil-natured Bishus. The Buddha said, be silent and they will leave. Even while the Buddha was in the world, there were evil-natured Bishus, laymen, and ordinary people. If you ignore them, the Buddha said, they will get bored and leave. Thus I have heard. Thus fills the requirement of one, faith. The Dharma which is thus can be believed. Dharma, which is not thus, cannot be believed. I have heard fills the requirement of. 2. Hearing. Since the ears do the hearing, you may ask, why does it say I have heard? This is because whereas the ears are just a small part of the body, I refers to the whole person. At one time fills the requirement of. 3. Time. Why, you may ask, doesn't the sutra give the month, day, and year? Calendars differ from nation to nation. Some countries begin the year in the first month, some in the second or third month of another country's calendar. There is no one way to indicate the date, and, what is more, if the date were given, people would start doing research to determine if it was correct. Because the sutra only states, at one time, there is no demand for historical verification. In order to speak the Dharma, there must be an four, audience. In this case it was the gathering of great bishops. The audience must also have the time to come and listen, for if they don't stay, of what use is their faith? They must have the time to listen, they must want to hear the Dharma, and they must believe in it. Then there must also be a Dharma speaking host. In this case, the Buddha is the five, host, and the six, place is Sravasti, in the garden of the benefactor of orphans and the solitary. Therefore, in the opening sentences of the sutra, all six requirements are fulfilled. Sravasti is the name of a city in India. Translated, it means, abundance and virtue. 18 because the seven jewels, gold, silver, lapis lazuli, crystal, mother of pearl, red pearls, and carnelian, and the objects of the five desires, beauty, wealth, fame, food, and sleep, were in abundance there. The people of Sravasti were very intelligent and had the virtue of great learning and liberation. You could also say that the objects of the five desires are forms, sounds, smells, tastes, and tangibles. The states connected with the objects of the five desires turn people's wisdom upside down. The eyes run off after forms, the ears after sounds, the nose after smell, the tongue after tastes, and the body after tangibles. Deluded people spin around and around in pursuit of the objects of the five desires. The people of Sravasti had great learning and refinement. They were also liberated free, and unfettered, and were only slightly attached. 